Hello you, this is Pantsman UK and this is going to be a quick simple video on how to install Equivalent Exchange 2 for Minecraft 1.2.5. I'm not going to show you the old fashioned way of doing it, of copying stuff straight into your Minecraft jar. I'm going to show you how to use MC Patcher to do this. It's to my mind the slightly easier way of doing all these things. There will be an even easier way in the future if you haven't already seen Direwolf's introductory video to Multi MC 3.0. Um, can I suggest you go and watch it um, and if you're prepared to hang on I don't know maybe a week you can do all of this in an incredibly simple Windows interface if you're a Windows user. It's going to be similar for Mac and Linux users because the multi-MC developer whose name I cannot for the life of me remember and I do apologize to him her is promising uh, versions for Linux and, and Mac as well but right now the way I'm going to show you how to do this works in Linux it works in Win Mac it works in Windows and it's almost certainly the easiest way to do this at the moment now to start with I've already downloaded plain old 1.2.5 here we are plain old 1.2.5 no worlds built um, I haven't even tweaked my settings yet so first things first we're gonna quit the game because we don't want to be in it now next thing you need to download a few things I'll, I'll be honest here and say it's a few things uh, I keep all of these things because I tend to download them at work in my Dropbox. So we've got Audio Mod and Mod Loader, both by Rizigami. We've got MC, uh, Minecraft Forge Client 3.0.0.72. And I need to warn you that is not the latest release. There is a newer release, sorry, a newer build in effect, um, available. What you'll need to do is go to the Jenkins website for Minecraft Forge and find the 7.2 build. It's not terribly difficult to find, but then again, it's not infinitely easy to find. Uh, you need Equivalent Exchange Client 1.4.3.0 and you're going to want MC Patcher. I happen to have here 2.3.5 underscore 01 which when I downloaded it ooh, would have been last week was the current version for 1.2.5. Now in terms of installing the updates all you need to do is run MC Patcher. <coughs> An MC Patcher will find your jar file, your Minecraft jar, and will make a copy of it and call it 1.2.5, which is what it says here under original, and it's prepared itself to output Minecraft.jar. Now, if you don't want to use high definition textures and HD fonts and all this other guff, turn it off. Simple, simple, simple. Just untick it. Okay? Now, at this point, I could just hit patch and I would have HD texture support and HD font support. I'm personally going to leave HD texture support and HD font support on because I like to use the Sfax Pure DB uh, Pure Craft DB Pure DB Craft. I like to use the Sfax texture pack. I, I I think it looks brilliant. I love it. So I'm going to leave those ticked. Now in terms of installing mods, a couple of ways to do it. You can either go mods add or you can click on this plus button. I'm going to click on the plus button because it's slightly easier for me that way. And I'm going to go and find my Dropbox folder where I keep all these things. Minecraft mods 1.2.5. There we go. Now, I'm going to add mod loader first. Here's all the things that mod loader is going to add. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to add audio mod. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click OK. And finally, for things that have to go into the jar, I'm going to add Minecraft Forge Client. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK. That's it. In terms of making changes to the jar files, that's pretty much it. All you've got to do is hit patch and you're done. So we're going to do it. Oh, right. We've got some conflicts detected. Um, forge conflicts with mod loader. Well, that's what I expected to see. And only the files from Minecraft Forge Client 30072 will be used, which is what I want. So we'll continue patching. Job done. It's finished. I, I, if, if I close MC Patcher right now and run the client, I will have a fully patched up Minecraft. 
nothing to see yet because we haven't done anything yet but well actually here's an idea here's an idea I'm gonna go into the old-fashioned way of doing things just for a second and go to percent app data percent texture packs now where's my backup there it is what have I got in texture packs I've got I've got Sfax there we go he'll do let's copy Sfax over from my backup to there so let's see if the, let's show there's a difference we'll log in <clears throat> and we'll go to texture packs and we'll choose Sfax and what should happen is that we get the Sfax texture pack background and there you go Sfax pure DB craft that's what it's called so that proves that the the HD patch and all the mods and stuff have installed correctly into the jar and that that really is the hard bit done the hard bit of all of this process is now finished all we need to go do is go back to where we put the equivalent exchange client open it up I've got 7-zip installed if you've got WinRAR you can double click on it and it'll open up in WinRAR um, if you haven't already got something that handles uh, zip files correctly can I suggest 7-zip it's free link is down in the more info section so we've opened up the we've opened up the 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 equivalent exchange client zip there we're gonna go to percent app data percent in a Windows Explorer window and press return and that will take us to here we're going to double click on Minecraft and we're going to click we're going to select these two here and drag and drop them into app data roaming dot Minecraft and say yes and yes to overwrite what's already there it's not going to conflict with anything at this point I need to tell you that right then <clears throat> That's it. We're done. That's equivalent exchange installed. It wasn't hard, was it? I mean, how much time did that take? I'm going to have a quick look. That took seven and a half minutes. And I'm explaining to you how to do these things. If you haven't got me, if you haven't, if you're not having to explain these things to people, that would have been done in two minutes tops. So what I'm going to do is I'm already at the right screen resolution for this. I'm going to go full screen with Minecraft F11. I'm going to do single player, create a new world. I'm going to put it into creative and create new world. Now I'm going to put it, I'm putting it into creative because I haven't got any I installed, uh, not enough items, and I haven't got TMI installed, too many items. So the best thing I can do is go into creative, hit E to list everything. Oh, we've not got. I'm using an old fax. I've not got textures for the the new wood planks. Say, Lovey, not the end of the world. Uh, there we go. There's some there's some things from Sfax for equivalent exchange. There's the energy condenser. There's the alchemical chest. There's the collector. So we've got all of the stuff for equivalent exchange. Ah, we're not using we're not using Sfax with the EE -E add-ons. That's interesting. Job done. Like I said, uh, that, that's that's really that is as difficult as as it gets with uh, MC Patcher. Um, in actual fact, let's extend this a bit. Let's extend this this demonstration just a little bit. I'll go into my server folder, and I here I've got I've got not enough items, and I've got uh, co chicken, and I've got all the bits for the server ready because um, I'm. I, I'm a let's player, I'm an SMP let's player, I'm just waiting for Pahimar, bless him. Uh, take your time Pahimar, there's no hurry but SMP sometime in the next couple of weeks would be just lovely, thank you. There, I've, I've pled my case. I will install not enough items for you. So if I go back to my 1.2.5 folder and run MC Patcher again, it analyzes and it sees all of this guff the way it is <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is click the plus button again I'm going to go into this server folder and I'm going to select not enough items client 
which has to be installed in your jar file. And there it is in the right place after forge. So again, we hit patch. It's going to tell me lots of things are, are, are clashing now. But that's fine. We want not enough items and we want forge in all cases. Uh, uh, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Boom, job done. I'm going to close MC Patcher. And finally, we're going to copy. We're going to go back to percent app data percent. And Minecraft and mods. And we're going to copy from the server folder Code Chicken Core Client. No, we don't want to move, we want to copy. <coughs> right, job done. Yet again, job done. That's what? 11 minutes. So we've wasted four minutes doing that and chatting about doing that. So let's log in. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I've, I've got a terrible cough and it's come back again. Right, back into New World. And if I do E for that now, there we go. There's NEI. Bosh. And NEI is lovely. That's why I like to use it. So... Yeah, it that's it. Seriously, that is as tough as it gets if you're using MC Patcher. Um, having watched the multi multi MC 3.0 um, sneak peek by Direwolf 20, um, it's going to be a lot, 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 lot easier to keep multiple copies of Minecraft on the go with multi MC. Um, <clears throat> And to be honest, installing mods, even if you're only going to have one copy of Minecraft on the go, is going to be a whole lot easier with Multi-MC 3.0. Um, if you're in a desperate hurry for Minecraft 1.25 and Equivalent Exchange 2 for 1.2.5, use this method. Use MC Patcher. It, it, it's seriously, easiest way of doing it right now. If you're prepared to hang on... Maybe a week, maybe a fortnight, maybe a month. I don't know. I really can't say. Um, hang on for multi-MC. It's, it's going to be bucket loads easier. Right, that's it. I'm going to stop before this video gets too much longer. Um, enjoy your Minecraft. Enjoy Equivalent Exchange 2. Uh, much love to Rizagami, uh, Lex Manos... Ella Room, Space Toad. Who have I forgotten? Pahimar. How can I forget Pahimar? It's his mod that we're doing all this for. Um, yeah, so much love to mod developers. You guys, guys and girls do an incredible job and you deserve far more love than you get. Um, and that's it. I'm finishing this here. Uh, enjoy your Minecraft. I'll catch you all online. Tatty bye for now.